Hi, welcome to episode 100 of BitList. I started this series about a year and a half ago because I wanted to introduce Beth to some of the games that I loved as a kid. Uh, in the premiere episode, if you'll recall, we played the very first Mega Man ever. Um, this is a game that's very dear to me because it was the first Mega Man game I ever played, and it left a lasting impression on me. Now, coincidentally, uh, in episode 100, we are playing the last Mega Man game to be released on the Game Boy. Also coincidentally, uh, true to the Astro part of my username, in this episode Mega Man uh, has to travel to space so that he can confront the mysterious Star Droid leader, Terra. Uh, and if that's not enough coincidence for you, as of this episode, um, NASA's New Horizons mission has recently had its closest approach to Ultima Thule, uh, a Kuiper Belt object that's composed of primordial molecules from our solar system's formation. Now, that's particularly interesting to me because I used to study Milky Way star formation, and planetary formation disks are tied up um, in the star formation process. And of course, in our Milky Way, we have tons of stars and a lot of star formation and potentially tons and tons of star systems. Uh, anyway, enough of that. On with the show. Let's go to lab one last time so we can show off our cool new crystals, our Pokemon. Oh, Mega Man, did you bring back the crystals? Oh, he, he doesn't care, I just automatically have the power. Um... So, I'm full up on E. You can grab an S tank. 120, okay, yeah. It'd be nice to have one more. Cool. Uh, I think I could probably afford what's, a W. What's that one there? Weapon refill? Only 30, okay. Okay. You buy two of them. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd, have any tips left. I'd be pushing it if I actually just wanted one. Uh, no. No, I don't want the item. I just want to leave. Okay. Yes, I'm finished. Okay. Let's go take on Terra, finally. Oh, okay. He doesn't even care about the crystals anymore. Yeah. What, the hairband guy? No, I guess I... Once I get all four, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, Terra, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you and your stupid haircut and your Sailor Moon tiara. <laughs> I finally destroyed... All the planets. All the space stations. Which one of us said that? You fool, Mega Man. <laughs> what do you think this guy's weak to? I have a bunch of weapons on hand. Could have created a new world for all robots. How can I fetch a my master now? <laughs> I must redeem a, my master. Myself by blowing up. <laughs> redeem myself by blowing you. <laughs> uh, two pieces. Alright, now I get to fight him. And I've got a bunch of weapons. My hmm. Tickle Buster works on him. Oh, cock. Oh, that's mean. That's his amazing weapon. That's a pretty cool move, too. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So what do you think he's weak to? Oh, boy. Uh, I feel like Black Hole would be too easy to mm. get him with. Mm. How about the electric zappy gun? Jupiter. Cock. Uh, no. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> so like, uh, once he comes back. <laughs> yeah, anytime. No. No. Okay. Um. Hmm. Missiles are gonna be so low. Nah. Yeah. Barely did anything. Oh, he freezes time. Okay. Take a look at the ground. I hope it's a penis one. Seems to imply er. this might work. Venus is straight up, not really. Okay. That's true, you have those there. That's it. Nice. I mean, this one I gave to you just because they're so stingy with the weapon energy. Yeah. Oh my god. You have a limited amount of blocks there. Yep. Dang. All but, right. um. I gotta stop wasting time with this. So, mm -hmm. that I think that that means that none of the other eight robots, because we're gonna have to do a second fight against those, uh, you know, tournament style like always. Nobody's gonna be weak to the block. Okay. So you can put that out of your mind. However, beating Terra does give me a ninth weapon finally, which is not something you usually see. Oh boy. I get that goofy homing electric beam that he just used. Hmm. Which is pretty powerful. Standing. Cool. So one of the bosses is weak to that, one of the eight robots. 
managed to have defeated all the star droids. Oh, that's me. I should have defeated all the star droids. What? What? What's that star? What's this? That's no moon. <laughs> that's no moon or star. <laughs> Can't be. Look at that giant stupid exhaust board. He recognized it by the skull. <laughs> yeah. Is he behind that? Only literally one person on the planet uses skulls. Well, he uses skulls that make dumb robots. Oops. 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 I have a feeling that was mistimed. <laughs> so Wily uh, retreated to space now? Yep. Great. Maybe he's behind this? <laughs> How surprising would that be? Well, let's go on up there and uh, give him a piece of our mind. Give him a few gentle boobs. Okay. Don't usually see space shooters in a Mega Man game. Yeah. yeah, it's very cool. They vary up the gameplay. Of course, the gun is worthless because it's not doing anything. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Oh, now there's space robots. Is this Rocket Knight? <laughs> okay, so here's something I don't like. When you get hit, you <laughs> freeze for like forever. That's very annoying. Really? I don't like that they come up behind you too. Yeah, I can only shoot in one direction. I don't think I can trade out for any other weapons. Oh my god! How many shots, man? I'm getting up on you. This is some bullshit right here. Come on. Kite you over this side. Okay, there's no way I could have predicted that. Oof, that's one giant laser. Dang. Somebody want to tell me how that's fair? <laughs> it's gonna start you at the very beginning of this episode. Yes, it is. Oh. I know. So, this game is good, but it's clearly not perfect. It's got some poor choices <laughs> that are not a consequence of the limitations of the Game Boy. Hmm. So I just gotta remember they shot up, down, and then up. I could probably use my energy tanks, but god. Probably gonna need them for the bosses. Do you have to like play through more platform levels? Yeah, but they're short. They're not like the other ones. I mean, we gotta get inside the Wily Star. The Death Skull Star. Hmm. Skull Star. I don't know what it's called. Something stupid like that. Japan really likes Star Wars for some reason. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people like Star Wars. Yeah, which, it's like a big cultural element in Japan. At least the Death Star is. The notion of a giant orb space station. Mm. Okay, it was up, then down. Right? Then up. Probably down again. <laughs> yeah, probably up or in the middle. Yep. And here we are. You have arrived huh. at your destination. Huh. A skull with a W on the forehead. Imagine that. Hmm. Is there a reason I can't shoot from there? Yeah. Some <laughs> oh, is Big Station hungry? Yum, yum. Space Station want his plasma pellets? <laughs> no, Should be back. able to shoot it when it's charging and it deals extra damage. That'd be nice.
Got him. Got the Busta. Well, it's supposed to go in, <laughs> but you get it. <laughs> Alright, now I'm on the space station. What horrible things await me in here? What's that? The exact same enemies as were in pre- <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Nothing. I said nothing. <laughs> That's supposed to be a buzzsaw, right? I don't know. Kind of I honestly don't think it is. <laughs> hey, so we could go down, but it looks like I can bust through that wall. Well, let's do it. Uh, let's Uranonite it. <laughs> Don't need these. <laughs> Don't breathe that. May need some energy for that. Ooh, spikes. A lot of spikes. Mm. So oh, you gotta okay. be careful when you jump, because you can't be under the short spikes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Ooh, bump your noggin. So I think mm -hmm. if we went down, we would have come up that ladder. Oh, okay. Hmm. So this is like a shortcut, more than anything else. Yeah, it's tough. Um, it's shorter, but the the jumping does make it a little tougher. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think we'll just go on up there, huh? Yeah. Uh, dog, dog jump. Punk. Was Uranus in here? Ah. Uh. Oh, so you gotta go down and then blast through. Ooh, I nailed him. Sweet. No, oh, he's still in his tiny form. <laughs> yeah, I. Oh, please. Hey, so so here's uh, something you wouldn't have seen if you hadn't seen the first four games of the Game Boy series. Hmm. Each game features a new robot that's kind of like a, a miniature final boss yeah. that's not the same, not the eight robots you fight, but the side guy who likes to give you trouble. Uh -huh. They're known as the Mega Man Killers or Mega Man Hunters or something, so this is one of well, them in the tube down there. Okay. Uh, he's from the first game. I think that's Anchor. Okay. There's a no Dr. W logo. We're going to mess him up. Right, yeah, I don't think it was completely apparent that Dr. Wily was responsible for creating these guys. Mm. Yeah, his, his gimmick is ooh, he sucks up the attacks that you make and shoots it back at you more powerful. The more you hurt him, the bigger his shot that he returns. But look, I mean, it's a joke. Look at him go. <laughs> He's like... Ballet dancing across the stage. Right. This dainty little jump. Okay, so the trick here is that I gotta be on one side of the screen or the other to get a secret. And I picked the wrong way. Oh well. Oh well. It's nothing big. It's like either a life or a. Oh, here's another one. Uh. Oh. Secret enemy. <laughs> Let's try a new weapon. Wow, that took a while to find him, but I guess it worked. Well, it's because he's invulnerable when he's charging. But it did find him, you're right. Oh, I see. Ooh, so oh since God. he was invulnerable, it didn't even... Didn't register. Him. Hmm. Right. Interesting. Yeah, I guess there's no smarter way to do that. So you'll notice down in the beaker is the second dude. Mm -hmm. That was So the one I beat was in the first Mega Man game. That guy's from Mega Man 2 mm -hmm. on the Game Boy. His name is Quint? If I understand the lore correctly, he's Mega Man from an alternate bad future. Oh. And it's really cringy. He attacks with a, um, a pogo stick jackhammer, if you can believe it. Hmm. You get to see it in its full glory right now. Boy, boy. Is that all you got? Oh, that's <laughs> well, he does bounce around. Maybe he just deals a lot of damage. Because he's not really doing anything interesting. 
<laughs> so I don't think it was, like I was saying, I don't think it was entirely clear who made this these guys, but now it's like, they were Wily's creations or something. The fifth game, this fifth game is supposed to put a cap on the Game Boy series, which I haven't played. I might do that on stream. I think I mentioned that before, but I'd like to actually play the first four. 